Hey, uh, Brian. You want to try to get on that back shoulder, okay, to protect you, but you got to protect yourself too now. Check the outside defender, see if he's coming down. Well, I think uh, number one is the, red, the uh, people that red shirt last year. It gives them a chance to get into a competitive situation, be in meetings, uh, understand what the offense and defense is all about, and then going out there to perform on the uh, on the scrimmages. And uh, this will be, really be for some of these guys the first time of a real life game experience for those guys. Um, also, we got to uh, refine some of our uh, our schemes. Uh, right now, we're, we lose our top three wideouts, so you know who fits in where. How are we going to do? How are we going to move the ball? Because for us. Really moving the football. I don't care how we do it. We don't buy the run, the pass. It doesn't make a difference. You just got to be effective. And then really defensively, this at this time of year is really finding out where your what your uh, players are at. We have a lot of guys that are young uh, that have that have grown into it. Now, now all of a sudden they're going to be juniors, and so we have a better understanding about what they can do, what they can't do. Uh, they're maturing a little bit more physically, mentally, and, uh, and and they can give us a little bit more. So they got they got to. Uh, go out there and do some things a little bit different than what they've had to do before. First play, okay, we'll start off, okay, we'll have uh, Andrew kicking, two returners down there, we'll put the ball in the 25, the black will be on offense first, uh, you're now 14 points be behind, again, let's make sure, okay, the second guy in tackling stays high. Well, at that point, you, you're worried about injuries. Uh, so it, it, you can't go out there and practice all your uh, redshirt freshmen because you just don't have enough of them to practice. So uh, it's it's a little bit different. And then they they got kind of a little learning curve out there, and they go out there and they can make some mistakes here uh, during at that time. But when spring ball comes around, now they're fighting for jobs. And I think it's a little bit different for those guys there because you're still in the game plan mode of that bowl game. Uh, and I think that you could tolerate some of the mistakes. Now you can't. And uh, they got to understand that. they got to go out there and get things done so we know what we're going into in the fall. Because when you go into the fall, you really want, you don't really be keeping on evaluating as much. You want to really refine what you do offensively and defensively and kicking game. Got to keep them down here. Three and out. Three and out. For more information, visit WMU. Keep them down here, right? Whoa. Keep them down here. Yeah, catching up, uh, catching up to the speed, the tempo of everything you're doing around here. Uh, you know, but it's it's worked out really well. I mean, I think developmentally they've been they're a lot uh, able to prepare uh, for the rigors of what's going to happen in the spring. But it's still they 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 don't have no idea. They you know they're just the little things that you know you got to be five minutes early uh, so you're not late. Uh, and, and the kids go out there to pace of practice, but they're really catching up to speed. I'm, I've been really impressed with those guys there, and I think it shows some of the leadership in each one of the segments that are helping these kids out. Punt! Punt! Hey. All right, one one bad throw there. Okay, you gotta be smart now. Hey, Antoine, look it in, look it in before you go, right? Well, I, you know, the the, uh, the the social media. I mean, I, that's so big anymore. You got you got to spend so much time in your with your kids and make sure that they don't go out there and do things that may hurt the reputation or the reputation of a football team. Uh, the, the 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 people, the, the other people who use the media. I think that's that's a little bit a little bit different. But kids are kids. I mean, they, they're going to go out there, and you know, and the, and the makeup of the family out there is a little bit different uh, at certain points. But you know, they're, they're all good kids. They all want to go out there, and they all want to do the right thing. Sometimes they don't, you know, and you just got to guide those guys there. But that's been like that forever. Uh, there's different challenges. I think the, you know, the aspects of what what these kids are going through in life are a lot more difficult than what I ever had to go through. You got to understand it a little bit differently, but at the same time, it's still guidance. And uh, you know, I, I had the same guidance when I was in high school. When my high school coach was a great, great coach, my college guy, uh, Tubby Raymond was one of the greatest football coaches in the history of the game. And uh, and I just don't see that much difference. I think you know it, it, it's a little more t tender on the care. And then back then, um, because you had so many guys here, but still, it's all about the same. All right, you got it. You got it. All right, get away. Good. Two minutes. Yeah, we'll be all uh, right after uh, right after spring. We'll go back there and we'll analyze everything we do by our cut-ups and uh, every scheme and 
Uh, really, we, get, we game plan a lot. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people wait till uh, the fall, and I think that's really a bad thing to do because you spend so much time in meetings that it's uh, unproductive. And I think what we do is if we see this, uh, this these are our answers. Uh, so we're one step ahead of the game. I think the position analysis, each coach has to give me a position analysis about where they, they see their players, what they can, can do, and what they can't do. And uh, we really uh, look at more of what they can do and put those guys in a position. Um, the coordinators, it's, it's their responsibility of what we can do with scheme-wise. Um, so with, with Bobby and, and, um, and, and with Ryan and Rich and Espo and myself, we all get together and, okay, what, where we're at. And then we got to fit it all. And we got to all go look in there. You know, maybe our kicking game, you know, John Potter was outstanding. He puts the ball in the end zone. Well, you know, maybe we don't get that this year. You know, so what's the pressure that's going to put on the defense a little? Uh, the new rules, bringing it out to the 25 if the, if the ball is caught in the end zone. Well, really, if the ball is out to the 25, uh, a 25 yard return, that, that would rank one of the tops in the country. So, what, you know, what, what kind of, what kind of uh, defensive schemes are you going to have there? And then, you know, defensively, what can we do? What can we not do? We get a little high risk, um, sometimes high reward, but then sometimes you're going to get burned into, well, okay, offense, we can adjust that and make sure you can go out there and make big plays to overcome some of that stuff. Or you're more conservative. Our second year here, um, we, were, we, we weren't as talented on offense, but we were a good offense because we were a good offense because we were effective. And it allowed our defense to go out there and just play, play a little bit better, and we played some field position to help those guys out. So there's a lot to be involved in there, and we all got to sit there and talk. And then we got to develop our guys uh, in the summer. You know, we have a, what we call a prescription plan for every player. And every player, you're going to sit there, and I want, I want to know what their strengths, their weaknesses, what they got to work on, uh, what they have to do to get themselves ready for the, for the fall. So we make out a, a, a pretty lengthy sheet on each one of the players. Give it to them. We sit down. This is what you got to work for because now we can't be with those guys. You know, we're probably one of the few sports that can't be uh, right after spring football. And then, uh, and then we got to develop some schemes. We got to get ready for the camp. Uh, and recruiting is always a big part of it. You're going to go out there in, the, in May. You got to go out there and recruit in June. You're going to have a lot of camps. You're going to bring kids on campus. So really, the next two months are are pretty packed. I mean, it used to be where they were kind of the. You know the start of the vacation right after spring ball. It's not like that anymore. It's a, it's going to be a, a you know high pressure. There's a lot of people who are going to have to go out there and do a lot of great great things in the next two months. Hey, Eric. If he's playing on outside shade, okay, you don't have to try to run through him. You can go up and down, right? Easiest release, okay? Okay. So what you got to do, okay? You got to keep your eyes right on it, okay? You're trying to run faster, okay? You're not seeing it. Let's go. No, we're going for it. Hey. Down now. Come on, Antoine, let's go. Well, really, family. I mean, I, I think uh, you know, I, you know, I go to bed at night. You know, I just want to thank. Uh, you know, I'm blessed. I got such a good, good family. That, that, that to me is the, the biggest thing there. Uh, I like, I like going home to, uh, to my wife. You know, and uh, you know, and I don't have all my children at home. But at the same time, I do, do got cell phones, and we talk a lot, and grandchildren, and you know, that the grandchildren really. They, it changed my life. You know, they always talk about how it does, but it really does. I mean, you, you just get a different perspective on things out there. And then, uh, and the kids, and knowing that every day I get to come up here ready to go and be, be ready to give everything I got for those. Um, you know, in, this, in the summer, I don't take much vacation, but when I do, I really like to get away. Uh, you know, me and Nancy and hopefully some of the kids, we get together. And, uh, but it's uh, more or less just reconnect uh, with, uh, with Nance and you know, you hopefully go to the beach, you know, a little, you go play a little golf, and do the little things. Okay, that know them full well during the season. We don't get to, we don't get to see each other too much. And, you know, we, I'll be home for dinner for one night a week, and you know, so I got to make up for it for the next few few months. That technique over there, you probably gonna get the bang over there, right? Yeah, because he's staying underneath. Yeah. Plus, the, the, the flat player, okay, he's gonna whiz because the tight end's staying in. All right, good job. Uh, is utopia. You know, I really think out there it's a, it's, it's the best that I've seen out there in terms of getting guys ready for, uh, for life. 
Uh, you know, I always talk to the kids. I always tell them, and this is not to mean it to any college professor because I really respect what they do, but I want football to be the best course that they take when they go to, when they go to college. And, and I'm sure that the English professor and the, and the chemistry professor are all saying the exact same thing, but that's what I want. I want them to teach them about life. I want them to, to figure out what it needs to be done so when they go on, uh, when they leave here, they're, they're ready to go out there and attack the world and be really successful. Uh, it's, a, it's a business. It's a, it's, you got to go out there and you got to perform every single day because if you don't, if you're not ready to go, you're going to get beat. Or you're going to uh, you're going to lose your position. So they got to understand that every day they got to get up there and ready to work. Uh, I think they got to learn how to communicate with each other. And in this day, when uh, in the age where you're having a lot of people with the, you know, with the the, the phones, you know, and the texts and whatever. I mean, we actually got to sit there and we got to work through problems. And I think it gives a great great uh, experience for the guys when they go on the, uh, you know, in the business world, whatever, whatever world they choose, they, they got to learn how to communicate. And uh, and I just, I just, I just think it's the greatest thing out there in terms of team sports uh, that you can possibly have. And I know some other coaches probably think about the exact same thing. But um, you know, football's hard, and college football is real hard. And you're coming under a lot of scrutiny. Uh, you got to do all the right things. But in terms of character building, I don't think football, college football, there's anything better. Than that.